<laughs> Hi, it's Heather from Rainbow Tiger. Just going to do a quick design using LED's Pastel Delight palette um, because I love it and um, it's really pretty. So I'm going to do something with teardrops and swirls uh, and I'm going to use sponges, no one strokes, super easy. Going to start with, this is Meron's called Intergalactic. It's a neon pink. And I think I'm just going to do, yeah, let's go this side. Um, so big teardrop shape. I'm going to mix up a little bit of I'm sure I've got this kind of pastel -y blue. This is blue number five uh, from Crylan mixed with Crylan white. Okay, now these are glycerin paints so you can blend them. also fix mistakes when you need to. Uh, so that looks pretty balanced I think. Okay so I'm gonna use that blue again this time. Outer corner of the eye. don't want to use dark blue under here, the same reason you don't want to use dark pink under the eye because it's going to make it look um, like an eye bag. <laughs> uh, and I'm trying to decide whether to do dark pink. I think I'm going to get a magenta -y pink. Uh, this is for someone that's going to ask me uh, Fusions Magenta Prime Magic Magenta. I'm just going to mix a little bit of that neon pink. I don't know if I've got it under there, I need to fix that. Um, so I've gone here, I'm going to put a little bit up here. just to give a little bit of um, contrast with the pastel colours. Um, do you know whether I've got any bling out and about? Okay, so I'm going to use the pink. I don't think they have individual names. Um, and the reason I like this, I did tell, say this in a thread recently, the re I know you can mix your own pastels, but I really like the fact that this is consistent and it just is the same colour, it doesn't matter, you know, whenever you add white to a pink and then you go back to use a bit more, do a bit more line work, and then it, it changes colour and you end up with different coloured teardrops all over. So this is number three round King Art 79, the old, basically the old local nail brushes, uh, 7950. Uh, what are we going to do? I don't really have a plan for this, so I think I'm going to go under the eye, under the brow. through like a wing. Mm. 
I can't see because I haven't got my glasses on. So when I raise my eyebrow, it looks really weird. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with, so my focal point is here, so I want my line work to sort of radiate from there really. And touch down about there, let's do a swirl. Brush is a bit dry because I'm dithering. Sorry, can't see that. I assure you, this is a lot faster on the job <laughs> because you're not trying to do it on a um, on a wonk. So because I'm already got pink activated, I'm going to just put the lot dots. I think in one, two, three. It's a bit wonky, but never mind. You get the gist. It's supposed to be quick. Don't be afraid, like, if you really want to, to go back and fix the shape of something. So that's that side. So you can see, you get a nice contrast with um, the kind of bright colours underneath. Now I'm going to use the blue. All my paints have not been used for... A couple of week, a week or so, so they're all dry and taking a bit longer to activate. Okay, so we're going to join Right, we basically, whatever we've done on this side, we want to kind of mirror on that side. No, I haven't painted on myself <laughs> on camera for a while. Now, I think, what should we do? So we're going to join that up there. We should have gone a bit further out. a bit more of that colour out there so it doesn't look completely lopsided unless you want it to one two three there we go one two three one two three I feel like there should be something here in the middle it's gonna have to be dots Hmm. 
quite sure what I want to put there. There we go. I feel it. <laughs> okay, so that is like the basic kind of mask shape that I might do on the job. And I'm going to put just for funsies one, two, three. Gonna put a different dot on that side, go back. And whatever you do on one side, it's nice to do on the other. There you go, super easy mask, you can see they are actually lovely and bright, you just need to pair them with, obviously you're not going to use them as a base, and then use them as a um, line work over the top. Um, I am going to outline this off camera, I think, took my eyebrow down, <laughs> um, I'm going to outline this off camera and then take some pictures and I will post it along with this video. Um, I hope that was helpful for some people. Um, I really love these paints and I really think they're a great addition to anything, any kit where you want to um, just um, up your line work a little bit, make it a bit more interesting. You know, it's really nice compared to using white for everything or having to mix your own all the time, which when you're on the job, if you can just pick that bright colour, it's so much easier. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.